Now, we left that in this time because a, a guy that's breaking all the records right now is a gentleman that we uh, I've gotten a chance to meet over the last few weeks, uh, Adrian Del Bono. All right. Yeah. Andre. Andres. Yes. Andre yes. De Bono. I don't know what to say. You know, we've had so many uh, Andres and Adrians come around lately. <laughs> Sorry about that. Andre De Bono. I knew I was going to mess up somebody's name before the yeah, day was over. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, with MultipolarFM.com. Now, you say, well, Hook, why you mention another radio station on your... Because this is a Latin, Hispanic-speaking uh, radio station, and their numbers are through the ceiling. These guys' numbers are just outrageous, and the, the listeners he has worldwide. So this is why we've kind of become friends with him and uh, and also going to help him along in, a, in, a, in another couple projects here. So WDBF Radio and MultipolarFM.com are going to be kind of a little bit partners here on some of these projects. Joining so, forces to unite. So, Andre, yes. it's, it's good to see you, buddy. Well, nice to see you, too. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm sorry to listen for my, my English. It's my first interview in English, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm really glad to be here, to know you, Captain Hook, and John Cena. It's really good. Yeah, it's great. And uh, so t tell us about what you got going on over there at uh, Multipolar FM. Well, Multipolar FM born on the 2009 because uh, when I, w I went to this country, to United States in 2008, with a dream, right? W like everybody, the American dream. And sometimes you find the American nightmare. So mm. I feel so lonely when I was here. So uh, I feel that I lose my identity, my friends, my everybody. So I need that. I was finding a, a way to communicate with all of them. So I started doing via Skype. I, t I started talking with a few friends doing my radio show. My radio show is Altoque. It's a comedy radio show. Right. Radio show. And it started li like this on uh, April of 2009. And too many people started listening to my show. It was two, three, four, five. And one day I have 20 listeners. Right. I say, okay, we can do something better here. And I started creating the, the, the radio, okay, 24-7. Spanish music, the idea, the philosophy of the radio was promote that bands on Spanish that doesn't have too much budget to be promoted on uh, different radios and they are really, really good talents. Right, and give a chance for Latin uh, artists to uh, do, do just what we do here on Born a Musician, give them a, a, an out to play their music. Yeah, exactly. You know? That was the, the idea of the radio and after that I started receiving a lot of material, was really, g really good talent outside, and I start, I'm from Uruguay, from South America, I started receiving material from Mexico, Venezuela, Colombia, mm -hmm. I say, wow, it's really good people out there, so we need to give them a chance to promote. Yeah, and the first time I listened to the radio station, because John, you are the one that inter introduced me to it, mm -hmm. I checked it out, and there was Alice in Chains in Mexican. And I'm telling or you, Spanish. <laughs> or Spanish? <laughs> no, it was a. It just happened to be a Mexican guy. <laughs> and I'm telling you, you've never heard anything like this in your life. It was great, man. It was great. Now I, I can understand they're playing American rock music, but there's it's so hard to get. I mean, a lot of times the language doesn't translate the same way. So you got. You got all these words that you got to <laughs> tell me about that because you, you and I talked about this. You better fix that one, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, we we have a lot of different shows on on the station right now. We have a, a comedy show. We have a romantic show from sport. We have about about movies, about music from the eighties, from the nineties. We have almost forty shows at this time. That's great. Okay, yeah. so it's too many people today that are listening to the radio. We have people from the since 13 years old to 40, 45, 50 years, they contact us, they send an email, they call us to the, uh, to the, to the shows via Skype, and we can communicate with them. Right. So it's something, it's awesome, and something that we, we can understand sometimes. We have a radio show at 9 p.m. here at Miami Hour. Mm -hmm. and we have people from Spain listen to that show, and we have six hours different with them. Right. It's almost 3 a.m. there, and they are waiting awake to listen our our <laughs> our, our show. Something. Somebody's drinking some sangria over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, well, the nightlife kind of shuts down ten, eleven o'clock over there. I know. You know, mm -hmm. so it's like, you know, okay, now we're going to go listen to multipolar. You know? yeah. yeah, it's yeah. it's really crazy because when we see the stat, we have people from Japan, right. for example, and you say, 
who can from Japan can listen to radio, you know? Now, unlike uh, our our radio station is mostly uh, conservative talk during the day, and then we do some specialty shows at night, which Born Musicians part of that, and uh, that's where the mu you know we lay on to the music. But we do a, a a show called Sounds of Brazil, which is a syndicated type uh, show, and. Um, and we get big listeners, big listeners in Brazil from that and, and all over the world. It's amazing to watch how different it is because in terrestrial radio, you're, you're talking about a 60-mile radius that are people are listening to your stuff. And with Internet radio, we have the ability to be able to look and see where the listeners are listening from. And, uh, and it's amazing. And, and at what time they're listening from. And, and uh, so we have a we have a big uh, audience over in Japan, and they're military people that mm -hmm. listen in our overnight replays uh, from midnight our time here, Eastern Daylight Time, until about six o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, it's, it's something know, amazing. Yeah. But the, the great thing about internet radio is it's twenty four seven around the world. Mm -hmm. So That's wherever correct. you know you go, you're always going to have somebody listening to something. Yeah, you know, and, and, and too many people don't believe on the radio station online. They say no, it doesn't that, that doesn't work. Right. But today, with our technology, you can be on the street with a smartphone right. and you can listen to the radio. Yeah, Wave. I think I told you this, and I think we mentioned it last week. But WaveStream uh, sent me an email uh, documenting the fact that over fifty percent of everybody that listens to radio listens to it via the internet now, whether it be a normal terrestrial station, because all stations are on. Uh, the internet now so mm -hmm. you know that that's a great thing and we just haven't seen the advertising dollars come over to internet radio like it will but it's 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 starting it's yeah, starting yeah. and well, it's just going to make our our radio stations better i have a question for andres yeah. sure Go okay ahead. um how do what do you feel about the music scene today how do you feel it's where it's going can you give us a feel of since you're you know dealing with a lot of you know people coming and listening to your station how do you feel about today's music scene well, I am not so marketing people, but I feel too many people, of course, uh, right now, nobody, it's so difficult to sell a CD, okay, to be honest. The people use more yeah. iTunes or different markets to sell their, their music online. And, um, of course, they, they need to promote that music. For that reason, we have our radio, and we st after five years, we have the same philosophy. Mm -hmm. you, are, you have a talent sent to us, your MP3, your music track, and we can play on the on the radio for free. Right. Okay. And of course, we have a lot of, of ideas for the future. I hope for the next year we have an idea on mind to help that kind of band or just singer, you know, to promote their their music from a different place. And, so and the music business is changing, and so, yeah, so fast. and, and right. so we we you know we're riding the wave right along with everybody else. But I can see you're very very passionate about what you're doing. So. What do you see yourself doing a year from now? Well, this is a <laughs> really good question. Really, I don't know. I, I had the, ra the radio for the last five years, and all the time that the radio was growing up. We, we so was learning about the technology, hope, how to use... We hope he's doing what we're doing, cashing a check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, we hope so too. But we start the radio as a hobby, you know, because right. we love what we do. Right. So for that reason... We don't think on money, really, to be honest. Maybe we need the money to maintain the servers and all this stuff because we have a few calls per, per month. But we do this with our heart, you know, to help the people. And it's really, really good when we receive an email from someone say, hey, thank you so much for playing my music on your radio. Thank you. They, they receive a contract to play on a, on a place or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's something, wow. Yeah, and you get their music heard, and then they can go to iTunes or Born a Musician mm -hmm. or wherever and download the songs because we'll play it one time, but we're not going to wear it out. Right, I mean? right, right. And but it's 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 interesting how he developed that, right? I mean, in a, this it's a kind of in a short period of time. What you're talking about here, five years, right? But then, how did you feel that it, every year did it grow from one year to another? When did you see the real big, you know, spike in your growth? Uh, after. After three years, we start with the radio. When we have a star, we, we, we bring a comedian to our station. He's a really fam famous comedian on YouTube. We have a millions of views. What's his name? El Bananero. El Bananero. Yes. Yes. Say it one more time, please. El Bananero. Bananero. El Bananero. Yeah, he's a Bananero. comedian. He's really good. And he started 
uh, working with us on, on the radio. He has a radio show every fri Friday at 9 p.m. and we have around 10, 15 listeners at the same time. Is that is that, is that like the uh, Latin version of Howard Stern? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Okay. Yes, he's really really good. He have wow, and he have a lot of people that follow him. So after that point, we start receiving a lot of quantity of people listening our radio station, and we start receiving. A lot of pro they sent we receive a lot maybe two three uh, shows per week that people say hey I want to have a show in your radio station can we and we listen to the show and we, and we say okay yeah you you have the quality you have the idea it's really nice and we can help you and the same with the the singers or the bands they send to us the MP3 we hear if the quality is good say okay let's do it let's promote your your music well I'd like to say something now to the sponsors that may be listening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a group, a great group of people here between WDBF and Multipolar FM. You know, dot com is that Multipolar FM or Multipolar dot com? Multipolar FM dot com. Uh, dot com. Mm -hmm. So um, y'all, y'all come down to check us out because uh, it's just going to keep on growing and it's going to make your product get exposed. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, of course, uh, more so with Multipolar, I think you're ready for the big leagues. Uh, where uh, WDBF Radio, we have, we're in a situation to where. Because our overhead is so low that we can, we don't have the big you know transmission towers. We don't have all the FCC rules and regulations we have to stick by, and costs us a ton of money. We don't have a ton of people working for us, and uh, we can sit back and 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 do advertising deals way cheaper than you can, and it's worldwide. So for your national sponsors, of course, the local guys, and you and I, we'll just charge you double. <laughs> yeah, we just charge it. Yeah, we just charge it triple. Yeah, but but for the local advertising, internet radio really isn't there. Except if you have a a, a where it really works is if you have a business that has a website and you want to your people to be directed to that website there's where internet radio is, is it, it does its best in advertising yes uh, yeah i think so uh, and also for multinational companies is really good for them i don't want to say any brand right now but no but no but you we can just write off cover like mcdonald's burger king you know can, you can, uh, yeah, Marlboro, whatever yeah marlboro you know, you know uh, uh uh, you know Budweiser, you know the beer companies, so the things that are all over the world. You right, know. right. Well, they got to understand too. I mean, for the for the price that they would pay for sponsorship, their exposure is going to be extremely high. So it's 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 a cut, right. you know cutting it cutting their expenses down, and that's. But it eventually, you know, it's only going to take a couple more years before internet radio takes over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it, and it already it's not going to be that long. It already is, and right. I tell some of these guys that are getting thrown off the air in South Florida, it ain't going to be long before you'll be working for me. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Listen, <laughs> all right, Andre. Why do I want to keep him? Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, tell me about the artists that put we're, music. We're out of gas, buddy. We're out of here again, uh -oh. as uh -oh. usual. Okay. We're Andre De Bono, thank you so much. Th we'll have you back you. on the uh, air Thank really you. It was a really pleasure. This is a, an amazing radio. We have really good vibe here, R really good thank energy. You. So That's right. And, that, and uh, I, I really appreciate you being on here. And, and we're going to do some collaborations, and we'll help each other out. Of course. All right. You've been listening to it. Again, it's WDBF Radio. You're listening to Born a Musician right here with John Seda and Captain Hook. We'll see you next week. We'll <laughs>